In this task, you'll work on an image composite. An image composite is taking individual bands and putting them together into a single multi-band image data set. In many cases, image data downloaded is provided this way, where the end user will need the ability to put imagery together. So here I have QGIS open with the grass toolbar enabled, and I'm going to open up the map set for the lab. So I'll click the open map set button, and I'm going to browsing to my lab data. Select the Lab3 data grass database and select folder. And now I can see my location and map sets listed. I'm going to open up the user one map set and I'll click OK. Now I'll load some imagery from this map set using the add raster data button. I'm going to add all seven of these images. And you can see as I add these, they have different spectral information for this scene. These six layers represent the six bands from a Landsat thematic mapper image. And you can note the wavelengths for these bands. You can refer to the lecture material or search the internet for the Landsat sensor. Now that those are loaded, I'm going to open up the grass tools. And I'm going to look for the R composite tool. So I'm going to expand the raster tool set, expand manage map colors, and notice when I open up a tool, it opens up as a fourth tab. And the tool itself has three tabs. The Options tab, where I set the options to run that tool. It'll switch to the Output tab as the tool is running. And a Manual tab, which gives me some documentation for the tool. So I'll set this up with Image 3 for red. And I'm going to click this button to set the region to the extent of this data set. The region, by default, is going to be the same size of my location. And if I composite this data, all the data beyond my image data set would be no data cells. So I want to shrink the region so that I just work with the extent of my imagery. This will be image 2 and image 1. And finally, I'll give this an output name. And with everything set, I'll click Run. It successfully finishes. And then I'll click the View Output button to add this to my QGIS map canvas. And now I see a true three-color band raster. And I can move this window out of the way so you can see that a little bit better. And I can investigate this new raster a little more by viewing the details in the browser. So I'll click to the browser window. Sometimes you have to click this refresh button and I'll expand my user one map set. There's a raster folder with my six individual images and the composite that I just created. And if I click on that, I get some information on the rows, the columns, and the resolution and things like that. In the next task, you'll work on an image mosaic.